We're here. We're excited. Yeah. And why couldn't you be? This is set to be probably the bloodiest best of five. Oh, gotcha. If one of the most exciting best of fives, hands down. So shout out to Ginny Broxa and Gibby for kind of giving us a look into what they thought would be important. And I agree. Like, mid lane is a super big deal. Humanoid on the Rift, obviously, this is a championship mid laner. This is a guy who's won a lot in an era where beating caps is a thing like only a couple players have really done. It's Humanoid yeah. in that one time that Larson did it, right? Otherwise, it's just <laughs> the cap show throughout our entire history. Uh, since he's joined the league. So this is someone we're always going to have to watch. But on the top side, Photon has been consistently impressing. Yeah, I, honestly, I think there's been set ups across the board for Vitality. I think Hillisang has been great in the early stages. When you look back at game one in particular, I was mega impressed with VDO and his Silas performance in their last series, where I felt like he was everywhere on the map finding these skirmishes. And per it feels like that kind of seems to be the way to beat Fnatic. Go for these early skirmishes, find those fights. And that's why I fully agree with you. This is going to be a bloodbath, and I cannot wait for it to kick off. And I think both these teams, you know, they're not afraid to get scrappy. But also both have been pretty open that, you know, they're coming off of a really dense weekend. They start this weekend yep. playing a best of three to make it this far in a single elimination bracket. So again, any loss takes them out. Fnatic, you know, you heard in the comms and in the post game interview, even after their win, hey, we are we struggled this week and you're seeing it on stage. They were glad to get it in Vitality with a bit more humor. Hey, we ran it in scrims this week, but you know, showed up on stage when it mattered. And I think that kind of momentum for both these teams is gonna be important. So much about confidence showing up on the day when they're teams that, you know, are not afraid to just make the hands plays, not just put you in a position where you have to outplay. It feels like confidence is more and more crucial. Also, just a random tidbit. I'm 99% certain that's the same time Mac wore when he won with Mad Lions. I'm pretty sure it is his time. Mac tie? That, day. that is the Mac tie. Have you gotten one? Yeah, I got yeah, one. The, the, yeah, yeah, the certified Mac tie. Yeah. No bias, just, you know. <laughs> very nice man, because that ties. Yeah, yeah and that's He's the big thing, is, is like when we look at these teams, right, it's easy to look in the context and we saw on the desk uh, of Team Vitality, but this is t a Team Vitality who has taken so many of the core pieces of the Mad Lions, both in coaching staff and in this case, the bot lane from the previous year to kind of rebuild and take another crack at this. And while Team Vitality's record in best ofs is pretty abysmal, as they have been one of the most cursed teams in our league, this is the first time that we've had a roster that feels like they can break that curse. Obviously, it's a tough road to make it to MSI. They have to win the whole damn thing. But right now, looking like a very strong team. I do like, though, that we are already getting a lot of target bans coming into this series. Noah has been looking absolutely fantastic on these area. We already heard the desk talk about it as well. So going to take that one away from him. The other one that he's be, really been performing on is the Jinx. He's kind of late game scaling AD carry. So curious to see if Vitality want to go that direction. But you still have things like the Rel, even a Kalista and that, that are still very, very strong in the current meta. I've seen almost 100% presence. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that as the last takeaway. And even the TF taken away from Photon on the opposite side. The Rel band away is also curious to me. I guess just not wanting to give it over to the side of Fnatic. But it's a comfort pick for Daglas and has been for a lot of the season. But most of the really reliable engage options now taken away. Fnatic snap picking up the Ash. Now, if you missed the regular season for whatever reason, it was Ash bars for Fnatic the last time these teams played against each other. And to be honest, it was a hot mess of a game. A kill a minute <laughs> on average. Ash Forest did not do what they were supposed to do. They did win the game, but it was a bit of a fiesta. And Team Vitality now locking in the Varus. The Rumble, it would be easy to say it goes top, but the Rumble is notoriously very good into the Ash. But it's also, as you say, that's I think it is, it's also very good with the Ash, right? right. So you take away the Varus, which is its regular compa companion. Then you go, cool, but we're going to take the Rumble away as well. We can still flex that to Photon, who is a phenomenal Rumble in his own regard. So you set up that opportunity with the flexibility, but you're also denying a lot of, a lot of those plays but Ooh. there is still the okay. Kalista there that we highlighted. So we're still getting that double AD carry in the bottom side. And we talked about confidence. I love the confidence we're seeing from Fnatic. This is very much a do or die kind of bot lane. You are set up to get ahead early. If you get ahead and you can sustain that advantage, you can take control over the entire map. If you fall behind, if you make a mistake, you're going to be outscaled pretty quickly. That said, a lot of level six impact coming in between the Vi and the Ash. Tools for setup and on the opposite side. You've got the Rumble, you've got the Varus as well. So that might be the big catalyst for fights early on. And the Bolivar, we know, while it is a flex, uh, while we have multiple flexes now for the size of Team Vitality, just the strongest early game jungler at this point in the meta. Yeah, and I feel like that's where Vitality are going to put this Rumble into the bottom side. You get this hyper-aggressive bot lane you play around with the Volibear. 
the nice thing about the Rumble support is that it obviously has the Electro Harpoony that you max first, which just messes with Callista because you get the slow on her, but also messes with the Ash because a lot of the times she wants to try and chase you down, but you just end up shooting the Harpoon into her and you get that disengage. So I think it's going to be right. Did you just say that? No, no, no. Oh, no, I thought no, you were no, giggling no, no, no. at me because I was I'm giggling because you said Harpoon <laughs> and then E, as in Rumble's E is a Harpoon, but I heard Harpoony. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> okay. He's already RNG. We don't need more of these. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, wasn't, I was just saying. It's a, it's a good, we're, we're getting a lot of good nicknames today for abilities. <laughs> um, so the Tilia, the Azir banned. A lot of control mages taken away here. Aurelian Soul is the, the big hot ticket item, as you heard from our analyst desk. This champion looks powerful. I think all of social media is coming together and roasting that guy who made the Reddit thread two months ago about how useless <laughs> this <laughs> champion was. Um, shout out to you. But the Ari, of course, for VTO, uh, you know, has had some incredible performances on it. Huge playmaking pick paired alongside the Volibear. Definitely the kind of uh, thing that we like to see in a draft where we want a bit more early aggression. But now nice? there's a bait from Fnatic. Nice response, though, I think, with the Silas. It does mean you won't get mid control, which I think might be necessary if you want to try and play with this Ash Kalista. So I think maybe they might try and go back towards something even like an Oriana, but still you lose out on a lot of that play, but you do have that Ori by combo with that. <laughs> oh, we're getting the cream shout out. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we did see this over in the LPL. Yeah. The playback cream managed to get a five man ultimate on the Diana. It was sick, but immediately lost the game because he fell so far behind. So I am excited to see what Humanoid can do on this because with this short range of composition from Vitality, there is a fairly high chance he's going to have some of these big ultimates. Definitely. And a lot of other tools to start it up, right? Diana doesn't have to be the initial piece of CC. And we'll track what the Diana does in game, look a little bit more at the build path as we focus there. But instead, okay. Hold on, I'm waiting for these, these swap overs. I assume it's just gonna be into the, Yeah, into the Cassante. But again, we have some very standard choices balanced out by some very creative ones. And I like a lot of what we're seeing. The Rumble support, again, this is a support that kills and fights early can fall behind. We have seen it, uh, you know, fumble here or there, but in general has looked incredibly powerful up against what up until Rumble support became a thing you would consider to be one of the most oppressive bot lands in existence. And Human of course, has been practicing the Diana in solo queue. And we'll just have to drop, we'll just have to see how it works out. Bot lane's still gonna be the focus, I think, where we expect to see the most explosive playmaking. But as we get closer and closer to level six, I imagine the Diana can I really show us what she's made of. Yeah, the only thing is, you will still lose out on that early level push. So if Noah and Jun want to get aggressive, Razork is going to need to start top path, but get a lot of vision down because the opportunities for these roams from the Ari to try and shut down these lane is pretty damn high. So I want to see some early control here from Fnatic to prevent Vitality essentially throwing the game into chaos, which is kind of where Vitality have thrived over the last couple of games. Certainly have. Vitality's coaching staff, big on letting their players Play the game how they want to play the game, but sometimes the way they want to play the game is a little bit sussy. So we'll see which version shows up today. Again, Spot versus BDS in the next best of five on the line. Vitality and Fnatic going toe to toe in game one. First of three, gonna take it. Shamrock Malphite coming out for Rob. Appreciate it. for Rob. <laughs> yeah, no other Him reason. Even Photon are besties. <laughs> See, that's cash or native. I just made yeah, that up. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever gotcha. talked yeah, to Photon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. No. <laughs> I feel like with the accents, my struggle. <laughs> <laughs> my accent is not kind to people that are outside of, well, of Ireland, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, pretty mild. If anyone, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, fair. We, when we went to Dublin, there were some stronger accents. I was like, My Damn. brother. <laughs> you yeah. You were like, My brother Wait. comes in hot. I was like, <laughs> I had to slow it down. Can you back it up? Minions anyway, Rob's brother aside, <laughs> focusing in on our first Shout game. Shout out to Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to him. Great ARAM enthusiast. Um, Malfi top versus, you know, Cassante, I don't think is going to be super thrilling. It's an interesting adaptation from Vitality. I think we've gotten very used to seeing Photon take more counter pick, more lane focused counter picks, it's safe to say. Try to build a bigger advantages on picks like the Jays or the TF. Of course, the TF was banned away in this draft. Oscar getting comfort, though. Super good for Fnatic, because while Oscar's had an overall up and down season, I feel like he's always able to deliver value on that Cassante. But meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Jonah Noah, level one, winning out on the early trades as expected. Little Sang just trying to poke as best he can with the Electro Harpoony. Yeah, I think the Malphite is basically call it saying, look, let's be real, Noah and Jun are the 
double threat the 280 cars that I have to worry about because Humanoid is going to go for Lich Bane. He's going to try and go for this more I am burst heavy build. So, excuse me, he's not really going to be able to bring a huge amount to the table when it comes to taking down Photon. So he's going to be able to opt into a lot of early armor and just make it very difficult for Noah to take him down. So for Fnatic, definitely a game that you're going to need to snowball pretty effectively before Photon just becomes too big of a threat for you to deal with. And that's why I like the addition again of the Rumble going into this bot lane. You can already see it takes away a lot of the threat that this double AD carry lane has. And it's been one of the adaptations we've seen come through to answer this double AD carry boss. Good answer overall. Obviously post level six as well. You know, next patch when they start to hit a lot of the, the support damage and support itemization, maybe it doesn't feel quite as good. But even on this patch, You've just got so much early damage off a single item. And yes, after that single item, your gold income decreases. But do you need more than a land Leandries and a support item on support rubble to be impactful? Probably not. Humanoid, though, locked up, flash the charm and the first blood. But Razork, there to punish. And VTO, there should just be no way out of this one. His flash already down. A TP returning to mid lane. VTO, moving. a bit of extra movement speed might come in handy. Razork wants to keep it going. The charm does connect. Photon can slow Razork down. Looks like he doesn't have quite have the cooldown. BTO should Three, be dead. Extra bit of two, movement speed. One. Ball breaker. Hits him. Oh, it's a one, two, three. Diana and Vi working together. It's a beautiful thing. Someone find Caitlyn. She must be jealous. <laughs> I mean, Razork just going in, or getting those double kills, setting up nicely there for himself. And just unfortunate for Vitality. Almost managed to pull the dive off cleanly, but I want to double check the charm because I think it hit a minion, which would have just burst Humanoid out just enough. Because Daglas takes one terror shot, takes two terror shot. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter either way. Razork would have been in position to take him down. And then just being able to chase down uh, video. Photon does try to roam, but not really in a position to help out too much. As Razork was always going to have that extra little bit of chase down when the cooldowns came into play. And obviously the end of this, it just it just takes a bit too much time, right? Photon can't overcommit. He's likely to give his life as well. Razork knows his limits. He's got red buff. One more cooldown on the ball breaker. All that he needs is... This is behind the scenes on how we recenter your perspective on the map. Humanoid did catch that wave, which is important. And he did get the cannon, also important. And Razorka's bot lane, also important. Are we in a replay or are we not in a replay, audience? Is your perception reality? This is real, also not a replay. Or is it? If they don't put the graphic up, guys, I don't know either. <laughs> I'm only as good as production makes me. Uh, anyway, yeah, Oscar. It's a real secret. <laughs> Photon traded back and forth. Um, kind of despite everything there, though, VTO obviously the one who's going to have a bit of a gold league. Razork feels good. It's really nice to have those two kills, but obviously the Bull Bear's just clearing so much faster at this point that it's not really substantial. It's more just completing the tunnel around first back. And again, components got hit um, in this patch, the previous patch. So, it, until you get a first completed item, these gold leads aren't going to feel too impactful, but the experience difference might. Yeah, it will open up Daglas, though, because essentially, Razork spent time chasing down folks to clear out more of his jungle camps, which is why you're seeing him with that slice CS lead. All those camps are still up for Razork, who's going to take them out as he moves towards the top side. There was a little bit of a timing window where Daglas maybe was going to look top there, but I think he just wanted to assist Photon and push him in the wave because he was so low on mana, but didn't want to show him the wave state. So, Photon will reset. He's still got the freeze for Oscar and he'll match the TP. And it's going to be a little bit of an uncomfortable spot. Photon will have to burn through a lot of mana to try and shove in this wave, which isn't great for a Malphite. He doesn't really enjoy burning through his mana as quickly as that. Yeah, obviously pretty gated by cooldowns, especially compared to Kazante, who gets so much for so little mana. Level 6, obviously we don't expect to see Photon using ult in lane. Might be a situation where Oscar really just tries to play as aggressively as possible to force the Malphite ult to make sure that that tool is not available for team fights. Kind of a similar philosophy to what you'd see against champions like Rumble or Kennen, who are also heavily reliant on their ultimates for that team fight impact. Now though, Vitality, they're just being easy Drake. Wave is crashing, but with Humanoid resetting, they still have a man advantage here. Photon and Oscars continue to trade bows. Pull back over the wall is nice. Razork waiting right there, and that's the ulti comp. And now Oscar wants a bit more, gets the flash for the ghost. All these trades, super positive. Q3, Photon needs to sidestep. Where is he going to go? Oscar, you hit the Q3, you get the kill. The pullback's there. It's all his. He needs to set up the auto to finish. This is why you don't give this man Cassante. Oscar, too damn clean with it. But Hilly now flashing in, looking to burn him alive. Jun ticking on the ignite. The arrow just hits the edge of the hitbox. Exhaust now down from Karzi. Vitality trying to take control of the lane, but in the meantime, Razork's already taking the grubs. Daglas is here to maybe deny a couple of waves. 
You're by yourself, Daglas does need to back away. Humanoid is on the roam, and Daglas taking a lot of damage. Yeah, he's, gonna, he's about to he's die. BTO goes in, but no one's already got the kill. This is too many spears. The Ren now comes through the flashback out to safety, but they managed to get one. Karzi retreating out. Noah down, traded for Daglas. BTO using his ult, committing fully to the play. Already, Humanoid's ult went down in the meantime. And just a wild exchange. Both in the top lane, the solo kill coming through. Nice team play to get the triple grubs as well as that kill. But on the bottom side of the map, it's a bit messy. So there was a lot of trading back and forth there. So Dragon for Void Grubs, sure. traditional. We all see that all the time. The interesting part was we already talked about Oscar Ernan had that wave freeze up in the top side. Because Daglas didn't show himself on top side to help Photon push in, Oscar Ernan was able to freeze. But who? Humanoid. Humanoid. Now going to be in trouble. Moon Silver Blade not going to save him. Hill saying though. The ulti. Oh. Karzi. Just barely able to connect on that one. Crucial that he's the one to grab the kill here. Get a bit more gold for him. As Nolan Jun cleared out mid lane, and now we're going to head back to the bottom side, but they're going to be a little bit late to catch this wave, most likely. Should at least get one play that's so, in here for the bot side, but yeah. Okay. So top side play, purely good for, for Fnatic. Fnatic. Chris. Yes. In the end, you also get the objective, which means you trade even, and then kind of just... A big question mark thing <laughs> so, on the bottom side. But I think that now in totality, if you look at the last two minutes of play yeah. combined, because of that additional kill on the Humanoid, it feels like everything is just balanced out again. You say that, but Razork also benefited massively. Razork got to clear out the entire top side of Daglas. You can see that's why he's getting a massive gold lead as well off of that too. So it's also the obvious picks, but also a little bit more for Razor coming through as well. So for Fnatic, massively positive off the back of that. So I just want to make sure that as they come through, they're playing off that advantage for Razor. And as you start to crest over, Jun should hit level six, I think off of the next wave that comes through. And I think that's why we're seeing Razor down in this bottom side, try and look for a pick right as that ultimate becomes available for the Ash. Nice side step on the charm, ball breaker out. Razor retreating. That was like not quite to level six, but Humanoid not afraid to step up there. Phase Rush obviously makes it so easy. You can just instant proc that off of one ability rotation and have the reset for E. Photon forced to alt out, alt out as well. Topside are very strong point right now for Fnatic. Oscar most likely just going to walk up and get the demolish proc, maybe get a plate here. But sadly, Bami Cinder, while incredibly important in the matchup, does make it hard to just take free uh, tower autos. Yeah, not great, but a Vitality? At least in the bottom side, doing a good job of unlocking Hillisang to help and make sure that you aren't able to push as far forward as Razor. Really? Maybe trying to bait there. Pushed aside by the arrow. Hillisang locked up. He does manage to get the ult down, but there's no immediate follow up. Razor is all on his lonesome out, but it's a completely split fight. Hillisang lives for far too long. The rest of Vitality debating can they walk in here, but Humanoid has ultimate. He's moving in onto Karzi. The pullback is there. Diana finds one, two kills. Don't need it now to know if ETO needs to get something back. But he's out of dashes. Daglas is on the other side of the wall. That's another kill coming through. Humanoid now trying to retreat, flashing out to safety, but it's not safety. It's just the river. He doesn't have the damage. It's a bloodbath on the bottom side and a triple for VTO. Great collapse from Vitality. And you call it out at the start. Hillisang's trying to push forward, knowing that he has Daglas in the back pocket. But you end up with a split call from Fnatic. Hum our Razor goes one way. No and Jun turn on towards Hillisang. He survives for so long off the back of that and buys time for Vitality to get into that bot side. Now, Hilly immediately going top. Says, Photon, look, you've had a rough time, lad. I'm here to help you out. Maybe just hoping to get the ghost. Hex flash out. Step forward. Slow's going to come through here. Oscar going to be forced to ghost. Not quite enough damage. Oscar doesn't have the ulti, but obviously powerful enough to dissuade any kind of dive that could come through from these two. Just going to clear out the wave. Knows the Void Grubs are in a couple seconds. So both resets for top lane is going to come through. And imagine TP straight back into top side of the map. But the Jun and Hillisang now out on the map. It looks like a fight's going to happen around this mid lane as both teams are aware. Void Grubs and Dragon up in a bit. Arrow, Charm. Doesn't connect. Crucially, the Charm interrupting the Vault Breaker. The Arrow not landing means Vitality get the punish. They do spend the TP from Photon. I think expecting a bit more to happen there. But just a positive play overall. Again, 6-8 to eight the kill score. Gold, not a massive advantage for either side. Three grubs to the Drake. But Vitality already on the second Drake spawn. And really, the lead in the mid lane, the one that we have to track. Because Oscar, while he has this massive lead in the 1v1, if he cannot get out of lane, it doesn't really matter. Whereas VTO 
getting support from the rest of his team as everyone descends into mid lane. He's also been free to, to move around the map. Part of the reason why he has, you know, he's 6 out of 8, 75% on KP in the game thus far. But this is what we were saying for G2's game, for that first game against Heretics. Fnatic have struggled when it came to early map plays, early skirmishes, and Vitality have come alive in the early game where they want to go and fight you. They want to find these quick uh, skirmishes. And they're coming out on top, and a huge amount of that is Video in good positions. Hillisang has been everywhere on the map, and Fnatic just feel that little bit too late to most of these plays. It's a good call out, and I think this series already subverting our expectations a little bit. Seeing Photon take a much more defensive oh, position is the Flash <laughs> Electro Harpoon. Good Get damage. <laughs> Razor waiting. They spot BTO now, courtesy of the Sentinel from Noah, the Callista W. Do they want to go for the dive here? Dax can turn the tower out. Nice flash from Karzi. Fun's also gone from Noah, however. I think they can rinse and repeat here, though. Video's moved back to mid lane. He's going to shove in. And Humanoid has to show him mid. Eyes are down. And there they go. Okay, good bit of poke, but Angle stops them from pushing forward rather than stopping them from retreating. I think it's trying to force them away with the numbers of Ansh. See, Video's just pushed in mid, so he can bring him down. And if they managed to get a little bit more damage with the Equalizer. They could have been able to push Fnatic off that bot lane turret, but unfortunately just not quite enough sticking damage. So Fnatic still gets to clear at the wave and they won't be able to force them off the turret or try and force any sort of dive as the wave arrives. No. Important to note that uh, Noah has gone for opportunity, first item. So does allow him to do just an immense amount of burst damage off the Hail of Blades proc. We're obviously very used to seeing, um, you know, more of the on hit focus from Callista. And we'll see if that's what he wants to go to after this item. But the huge movement speed burst makes it very impactful oh, yeah. in skirmishes. He's just going to go straight Lethality. So, I mean, the last time I saw Lethality Callista would have been the Shy back in 2020, <laughs> top lane, which is obviously you quite LPL funny. You casters, you've seen everything we've from seen, the Shy. Yeah, we've last seen time weird I saw stuff. <laughs> Prom, Take Ignite, and Hail of Blades was the Shy <laughs> top in 20. <laughs> It was actually a uh, Civ HD video no, back Civ from 2016. <laughs> Civ HD video or the Shy would be a great game. <laughs> but, uh, Photon, gonna find out the humanoids in the brushy brushy and have to walk away. <laughs> I think Photon should get back to Zero, though. There's not yes. really uh, much in the wave state there. I think many people are unfamiliar with the brushy brushy. No. Been too long in League of Legends. Arrow, not gonna connect from Jun. Bit unfortunate. Really the only tool that he has to match some of the damage output. Hill is saying he's got the Zazas, he's got the mask, already working towards Leandries. The rumble is gonna hurt. Vitality set up on the top side. They were okay to give up the first spawn of Grubs, but they really want this Herald, or at least want to contest it. We'll start this one off. Of course, they are on Vision. Scuttlecrab is there for Fnatic. Fnatic with four out of five members in the area. Humanoid, I think, did get back in time to get that first item. Flash about to come up. Moonfall there, the ultimate. A lot of members grouping. Jun on the way in. Good initial damage, but the Herald already down. Jun flashing over, trying to stay safe. No, isolated off to the side by Photon. No, now flashing forward. Fate's calling Jun into the back line, but Fnatic don't have the damage. They have severely overestimated their outputs. Triple kill for Karzi. Vitality make it look effortless. They end up getting immediately on towards Noah, who is going to be your main source of damage right now, since you don't have anything in the tank from Humanoid just yet. And immediately picking off the kill. You can see the TP from Video was interrupted by Oscar and then as well. We had to dive underneath the tower to get that, to stop that from being even worse than it turned out for Fnatic, but massive win for Vitality on the back of that play. And I think it's pretty impossible for Fnatic to take fights right now, unless all of their cooldowns are connecting. Their items just don't favor an extended skirmish. We see the start here. Not even gonna see the ult, just forcing the flash out from Jun. Noah gets hit by the ulti, hit by the Equalizer, finally flashes, but at that point the fight's already done. Yeah, and the problem is that Karzi has just been untouched this entire fight. When you look at the positioning of where Humanoid was, couldn't actually get access to Karzi, so ends up using just the ultimate on towards Daglas, <laughs> and Karzi very happy about that. And as well, then Photon just making that game pretty much unplayable for the backline yeah. of Fnatic. So it kind of ends up as a bit of a dud. And now Photon going to find a lot of members up on this top side as Fnatic look to at least try and get this top lane terror and open up the map a little bit more for Humanoid. And Humanoid now finally has a first item completed. It is the Lich Bane, as you called out. So it might hurt a bit more. Struggle in that fight, obviously, is that even without MR for Daglas, just the innate sustain from a Volibear with a Sunder Sky meant Humanoid could barely really get through that health bar. As he farms up, the Diana gets more and more lethal. This is a champion who does a disgusting amount of damage on two or three items. The ulti very, very strong against a lot of immobile champions like the Rumble or the Varus. 
But that is a long way off right now. So Vitality, use the Herald mid. Start to extend their gold lead a little bit. Daglas, he's a big drift enthusiast. He did this when they played in week two. He's done it in every series since. I mean, might actually be able to get this onto the bottom side. He's been practicing. Can he get the... There you go! Oh, Ooh, that's heartbreaking! Okay, not quite enough range there. A bit of a miscalculation. Hillsang now caught out. Equalizer going down. Immediately the ulti comes out, but now Razzler's got nothing left. He flashes, gets away from the ultimate. Crucially, Karzi a bit over eager on pulling the trigger. Photon on the way in. Unstoppable force there. Fnatic playing on the edge. Flash out. They knew he had it. They wanted to bait it out. Didn't want to trade it for Humanoid's Flash, but they had to. VTO now dashing forward. Charms him in. It is a disaster. Humanoid instantly tries to turn. Gives his life to create space, but Noah's not even auto-attacking. Jun's getting more damage out right now. Lethality Kalista is doing nothing in this fight, and Karzi is unstoppable. Jun gets a bit more space. Celestial opposition, the slow, keeping him alive, and these fights are just not working for Fnatic. You just don't have enough damage on Humanoid at the moment. He's 0-5. Razorak went to his red buff because he had no health bar left, so it's just a, a fight that Vitality feel more than comfortable taking. And yes, they pick off Hillisang, but it's just the support that's gone. And even the Equalizer gets decent damage here across the members of Fnatic, or at least onto Razorak as he starts to come through. So he has to hop out. And then Photon, as he comes in, he's just able to buy enough space. We're back in, and then he's gone. Killing. Looking to 1v1, the enemy AD carry. Yeah, that's support rumble. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he'll get killed, but worth, that's pretty Hell gross. Hell worth. <laughs> Trying to do something. Yeah. There's Hillisang creating space for his team, and there's Hillisang creating space for Hillisang. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes he shows up for himself. <laughs> it's farming Tom Kentra rumble support. No, no, no. He's you not here to make sure you can make plays. I wouldn't even mind. That's his second solo kill this split, because he got the Camille one as well <laughs> on the enemy jungler. So he's popping off with these solo kills, man, you know? In Just my support head, it, it's like, you know, it's the grizzled old veteran. It's like, I guess I have to do it myself. <laughs> but no, everyone else on the team is also Kind of really off. far ahead, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's not like he couldn't let other people participate. He just uh, doesn't yeah. need to. I love this idea you've created of Kenneth. Like, he's like, I guess I'll step in one more time. It's like, every you're time you're here all year, yeah. mate. Like, bro, you're the one going in. No one is asking you to go in. But Hilly, obviously off to a good start. The Rumble against the Ash really paying off. And so far, the Lethality Callista, I mean, a little bit certainly because it's behind. I've seen games where this has been good, not in pro, but certainly a lot of. Uh, you know, high elo solo queue games where this looks like a terror, but this is not one of those games. RZ taking up home in the mid lane, VTO backing off on the bottom side, and, you know, Razor got ahead of the clock on this Vi, and I thought that might have been enough to really give Fnatic control, but Humanoid's just so far behind, and we've heard it on the desk. He's kind of the crux of this team. Like, you can see how much more confident this team plays when Humanoid's in a position of power, right? He's a very vocal player in the mid game. Very smart about how to play ways, how to do everything. But when you're put on the back foot and you kind of just have to accept the waves that are being pushed into you, it limits so much of that ability to make these on-the-fly good decisions because your choice is made for you. You don't get to be proactive in this game. Yeah, the, the draft from Fnatic has felt like it kind of hindered a lot of what they wanted to do, both from an identity perspective on Fnatic, but also then as unlocking Jun, playing around Raz or Cumanoid, because you just don't win that mid-jungle. You can't get Jun out of the bot lane because he's playing four lane. But also then from the perspective of, hey, how do we actually try and fight forward in to picks? Arrow manages to connect, but not quite enough information. You can see the entire jungle for Fnatic on the bottom side is dark. They don't have a mid lane tower. They don't have a bottom lane tower. That one just fell away. So very hard for them to walk in, very hard for them to contest, even when they are able to land that arrow. Fnatic responding by trying to take control of topside. Which is not a terrible time, but Video does have TP and there's a warden Falls behind over the wall, And there's so many people on the other side. Another surprise party for Photon, but the Hillisang ultimate is clean. The bear goes in, he goes up, and Video instantly comes over the wall. Noah again just has to run. He and Jun trying to find a way out. Desperately, one more dash forward, one more to follow. Flash from Jun, Video gonna follow. Daglas on the hunt. Blood in the eyes of Vitality, a double kill for Karzi as he plays cleanup. No, we're retreating back to the base, but that's going to be a Baron for Vitality. That's going to be an easy pickup for Vitality. It felt a bit like desperation from Fnatic. They try to get the pick onto Photon because he's underneath the terror, but you already had the TP available for the Ari. Video knew that he's going to be able to join in. And trying to pick this Malphite, we already said it's going to be a massive issue. Your Lethality Callista and a dream on Humanoid to try and pick him off. So they invest everything into the Malphite. 
And The Rock says, that's great. I'm gonna knock his up and have the rest of my team finish you off. Yeah. At this point, they're not even hesitating to burn the flashes, right? They know they can get these kills. They know they can force the objective. <laughs> Both are having a great time. Rare that we yeah. see someone who has to pick Vitality, or Vitality, excuse me, Malphite smile like that, but sometimes <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> and I would say the general <laughs> grins and giggles kind of indicate how Vitality feel about this game. They are not sweating it whatsoever. Two and a half minutes on the Red Bull Baron power play. Already lost a little bit of gold overall. Remember, you get plus 1,500 off the bat for the 300 you get each. And you can see while Humanoid's upfront damage, despite being so far behind, is pretty decent, the follow-up just isn't there. There's no room for Noah and Jun to really play these fights because every single member on the side of Vitality can either get on top of them or does more damage than they do. Yeah, and the whole idea of Fnatic's comp is to be ahead to burst people out. You look for picks with Jun, with Ryzark, try and set it all up. Also, I'm sorry, sorry one sec, just, just real oh, quick. Sorry, just, yeah. I didn't notice that. I'm sure some people did and they wanted to hear us talk about it. That, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Sorry, Rob. No, you're all good. I, I don't know if I can continue because there's an arrow. It's gone wide. Nice. Razork won't go wide, though. He's got a point Razork to take. Razork is back up. He wants to keep going. They're full committing on the fight. Equalizer on a 2 and they want to burn through cards as quick as they can. They're going to find that kill. 1K shut down to Humanoid. Pull back from Noah is good, but he cannot keep himself standing. No, Daglas can't quite get in range. He doesn't have vision in the brush. Crucially, Noah's still up. Fnatic desperate to try to turn this back. The retreat now from all of the carries. BTO waiting over the wall. Humanoid goes in, he goes golden. Noah doesn't do any damage! He doesn't have the sustained damage, and it's Oscar! It's Cassante one more time. Can he do it? The pushback to dodge away. The pushback to buy an extra second, but an extra second is all he had. The fancy forward, not enough. Photon gets the final kill in the ace. Fnatic are trying everything they can to stay in this game, find a moment to get a pick, but they invest everything onto Karzi, but there's more than just that one threat. The death book is up and available for for uh, video, and he's making full use of it. You see, literally everything in the kitchen sink thrown at cars. He has to get the shutdown, but afterwards there's just nothing really left. Noah taking incredibly low. Jun is getting worked on by Douglas, and video is just getting to play behind this massive front line that nobody on Fnatic can kill. And Lethality Calista can do a lot of work when she's not hitting these tankier members, but the problem is. <laughs> You never get past them. You're never going to have an angle to throw a Pierce out onto Vito, onto Karzi. And else you catch them out of position, which is at this point a hard thing to do. Vito, though, they caught him. They want to take that book off his hands. Send him right back, make him return at Barnes and Nobles, baby. That's a few stacks taken out, but Photon does a lot of work. It's not the laning phase anymore. That rocks a full on boulder, and now all of Fnatic are sent packing. Jun, yeah, he's going to get taken down. It's a slaughter. They got what they wanted. They made VTO feel a little bit worse about buying the book, but that's about it. And because of all the oh, assists, no, he racked he's up nine. <laughs> he racked up so no. many assists after death. <laughs> My man's reading at a college level, and he cannot be stopped. There's very little that Fnatic can do. They're trying everything they can, and you can see how this composition is supposed to work, which is we delete one member. But as you say, everyone's just so far ahead. Video has the stopwatch to at least keep himself alive. Well. Not stopwatch, but Karzi then does get the exhaust onto Humanoid, which keeps him safe for that little bit longer. And maybe with the couple of shutdowns that Humanoid has gotten, he can get to a point where he can look to one-shot people, but it's getting so difficult even afterwards to deal with just everyone that's left. Hands off the keyboard. The ref started laughing. I have no idea what he said, but it must have been hilarious. Anyway, 10-2 and 10 for Karzi. Very... <laughs> <laughs> How you tell who created space on Vitality is who did the least damage. Who <laughs> created space? Um, a lot of people on Fnatic creating space right now. This is a rough game. Now remember that Fnatic have been in a deficit. You know, the, the first few early steps of the game, they were training back and forth somewhat evenly. You know, some pretty successful plays from Razork, but Humanoid just got put in such deficit that it's pretty hard to do much of anything. Um, and a reminder that the winner of this series will move on to face BDS Saturday. Winner of that, of course, facing G2 in the Spring Split Finals. Which will no doubt be a banger. If you've ever wondered what League of Legends looks like when you don't play the lanes you're supposed to, the Finals will be for you. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we don't get any more of that. <laughs> but, uh... Maybe not. But yet another Siege, Equalizer placed, zoning Fnatic away. Tier 2 will fall. Big Purple Worm a minute away, and obviously the Soul has been picked up by Vitality. 
Yeah, I think at this stage it's kind of just dot in the eyes across the T's for Vitality. This game feels kind of done so. And again, it's the draft is kind of peculiar. And the decision makings around how they want to play this has been strange to me from Fnatic. Usually when you get like double AD carry bot lane, it's, hey, we want something mid lane that can facilitate push mid to leaning in. So we can always play with advantage and numbers. We can either look for invades off that threat or we can look for terrors. But just hasn't had that this game because you've gone for the Diana. And then trying to have Jun move mid to help out Humanoid because that matchup isn't great as well. It means you're just not getting the control that you want on bot, which is fair because it's also a terrible matchup. We talked about it at length how the, good the rumble is. So. I think Fnatic is just kind of going back to the drawing board and trying to set yourself up a little bit better for success. Yeah, and obviously tried something a little bit different this time around with the Ash Callista on the bottom side. Now something we see as much from their bottom lane overall. There he was banned away. Flash forward, Electro Harpoon, a little bit of an extra slow. Immediate pullback from the Fates call. Jun's okay for now as Photon remains uncontested in the bottom lane. Will knock down that tier two and set up for Baron here on the side of Vitality. Vitality not a team. Known for their consistency in these setups is Daglas. Really wants to go for the kill here. Is going to find the stun. Thunder and Smash immediately forced to alt out. Stormbringer done. But Humanoid trades his ulti for it. Photon now on the way in. Wants to go over the wall. Does not give a damn about Oscar and He sees two immobile carries. He goes. Vault Breaker buys a bit more space. Ulti in. Going to connect onto the jungle. Equalizer again. Pushing them back. Hillisang, the sole frontliner to run in. Ghost Golden has the Seekers. But the pushback is there. Oscar now into the backside of the fight. He's taking out Karzi. But VTO just continues to step up. It doesn't matter. Oscar and Razor are still standing. But the rest of Vitality can finally turn back. The shutdowns are there. But it's just not enough. It could have been a Penta. I'm just Can saying we? for video. <laughs> Look, the game's over. It doesn't matter. But uh, they will just push in. They're going to crack open the base. And now, having that wave alive, Vitality will continue to shove on through. Sometimes you're overheated. Sometimes the scrap shield doesn't come off cooldown. But you have to hold the wave. Can't let it push out. So Vitality, can they just end it here? I don't think Hillisang's death is the biggest factor in the push, although he is certainly strong at this stage of the game. So it will just be two inhibitors. And that's right, folks. We go again. We go Baron. All right, one more fight. Uh, it is a 10K, 12K gold lead. So I would say it is nigh impossible. But again, we've seen a lot of teams fumble in the final moments. Uh, and credit to Fnatic's front line, Razork and Oscar, for finding an angle to the back line here. But you can see that Humanoid, Jun, Noah just really do not get to play this fight. <laughs> Just because Hilly, <laughs> Hilly just runs a Humanoid. It's like, wait, I can actually deal damage as a poor? Great, I'm just going to keep going. And I actually thought this was going to be Video's Pentakill, but the uh, Lightning Crash come down from Daglas, ends up taking one kill, and then Photon just claps. Oscar in and out of existence. Yeah, that's Sky Splitter. <laughs> Cars, he frustrated, but always happy. Always hear about his positive effect on the atmosphere. Although, again, at this point in the game, you're so far ahead, it's hard to imagine being tilted. You'd have to be one, one salty guy. Photon, very scary. Malphite with Cloud Soul, there are few combinations more horrifying also, than that. No one on Fnatic has a flash. So it is just a <laughs> board, get out of here. Evacuate the danger zone, but Humanoid, maybe he wants to get into the thick of things here. All right, all I'm saying is, we'll know right now if it's League of Legends or anime, because if all odds are stacked against him and they win, this is absolutely an anime moment. Nice start from Razor. Humanoid behind. Hillisang trying to get a bit more space. In goes Humanoid, two, hit down. But the counter engages there, and Noah's completely isolated. Video just 2v1 and casually off on the side. It's too big of a lead for Vitality. Noah just wants one kill, but Vito, he had the stopwatch. He had the hourglass. He does not go down. 25 stacks in the book, and Vitality moving on to take game one. It is only season one, though. Fnatic will get another crack at Vitality, as they will take game number one. But we'll have to see how Fnatic bounce back coming into game number two. An excellent question. Couple final hits here. Back to the drawing board potentially for Fnatic. We'll see in a moment as we get closer to game two. <laughs> they just finally died to Baron. <laughs> Stat padding. We all chase different things. Excellent first game from Vitality. Of course, uh, good adaptation. Trying to shut down the Ash close to bottom lane by bringing out the Rumble. And overall, I think Fnatic clearly not getting what they wanted out of their draft. Obviously something more that they were hoping to see. For now though, we're gonna send it to a quick break while both teams recover when we return the analyst desk in game two.